First, make a magic ring. Then chain 2 to secure the magic ring. This is the start of the round and not counted as a stitch. For round 1, work 12 double crochet into the magic ring. When you're done, pull the yarn tail tight to close the hole. To join the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. For round 2, chain 2, then work to double crochet into the first stitch. and two double crochet into each of the next stitches. To join the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. For round three, chain two, then work to double crochet into the first stitch. and one double crochet into the next one. Again, work to double crochet. and one double crochet into the next one. Then repeat the pattern of two double crochet then one double crochet into the next one all the way around. To join the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. For round four, chain two, then work two double crochet into the first stitch. and one double crochet into the next two stitches. Again, work to double crochet. and one double crochet into the next two stitches. Then repeat the pattern of two double crochet then one double crochet in the next two stitches all the way around. To join the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. For round 5, chain 2, then work to double crochet into the first stitch. And one double crochet into the next 3 stitches.
Again, work to double crochet. And one double crochet into the next three stitches. Then repeat the pattern of two double crochet and one double crochet into the next three stitches all the way around. To join the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. For round 6, chain 2, then work to double crochet into the first stitch. and one double crochet into the next for stitches. Again, work to double crochet. and one double crochet into the next for stitches. Then repeat the pattern of two double crochet and one double crochet into the next for stitches all the way around. To join the round, slip stitch into the first stitch. Measure the crown width. It must be 6 cm from the middle to the edge. From now on we will work in a row. Chain 1. Then work 1 single crochet, 1 half double crochet and 1 double crochet into the first stitch. Skip to stitches, then work one single crochet, one half double crochet, and one double crochet into the next stitch. Then repeat the pattern of skip to stitches, one single crochet, one half double crochet, and one double crochet in the next stitch until you have eight stitches left.
So, we have 8 stitches left. Now, skip 2 stitches, then 1 single crochet into the next stitch. Chain 1 and turn your work. For row 2, work 1 single crochet, 1 half double crochet, and 1 double crochet into the first stitch. Skip 2 stitches. Then into the next stitch, work 1 single crochet, 1 half double crochet and 1 double crochet. Then repeat the pattern of skip to stitches. 1 single crochet, 1 half double crochet, and 1 double crochet into the next stitch all the way across, ending your last stitch with 1 single crochet. Which should be one single crochet. Chain 1 and turn your work. Then repeat the pattern of row 2 until you reach row 18 or until it measures 14 cm. I'm done, and it measures 14 cm. Now, let us make the strap. Chain 65 or your desired length for the strap. Work single crochet into the second chain from your hook. And into each chain until you reach the last chain. Now, work single crochet into the neck area.
Now, make a chain similar to the first strap. Work single crochet into the second chain from the hook and into each chain until you reach the last chain. Slip stitch into the stitch right here. Then chain 2. Now, work one double crochet into the next stitch working into the front loop only. Chain 1, then 1 double crochet into the same stitch. This will be our first V stitch. Work again V stitch into the next stitch. Then work these stitch into each stitch until you reach the last stitch. Chain 1 and cut your yarn. Hide all the ends, and you are done with your Kali baby bonnet. If you want to make a Kali romper I will put the link on the description below. What a wonderful world.